Hey, well, welcome back to Drive Hour Reviews, where I have never left the coffee shop. That's right, I stayed here overnight. <clears throat> they got beds, you know, like any of coffee shop or Starbucks. All right, as promised today, we're taking a look at the other Titan that buffs Goliath that came from the recent event. And this one is called Jaldar. Now don't blame me for mispronouncing the name spelled like that, okay? Because that is an awesome name, and it sounds better in my pronunciation. Jaldar. So here we go, we'll check him out. He's got a buff to Goliath damage. He's got Goliath resist against physical, Goliath critical, and resist against poison. Interesting combination. And then uh, damage against Titans. So not my favorite setup on skills, but of course everyone has their own luck of the draw. But I will say this, um, it's always nice to see that grit and damage buff. So we're going to throw on the same relics that we had on Gilga, and we're going to move it over and see how we do with a Ranger and a live buffing Titan. Earthbreaker. Earth Sight. Oh, I had an Earth Sight. Right and where's the Orb of Doom? Well, I mean, Orb of Doom. Orb of Death. Orb of Well. Okay, so level 40. Not the most potent of Titans at level 40, but definitely still pretty good. Perfect. The Tauron. All right. So check out the Titan. We'll, we'll take a look at his stats. He's got a base damage of 11,430. And as you guys know, Rangers are just deadly creatures, right? Take a look at the uh, Goliaths themselves. Not as good as when um, you know, Grilgar had them, right? A little lower damage at 2200. Armor is the same. Armor Pierce is the same. Critical is a little lower, right? But resistance way up. In fact, if we're fighting against archers or militia or spearmen, yeah, who's fighting spearmen or, or militia, but we were physical damage is way up. Now, resist against titans mixed with resist against physical. Pretty good against Valon, if I can find that Valon again, actually. I don't know if I can. I'm going to try. Because I did say I was going to attack her. I need some reinforcements. Can you give me some reinforcements? <laughs> Can anyone here give me some reinforcements? Okay, so we're gonna move him back. Oh, I should have brought I should have brought archers in just to defend. We're gonna move some of this out. Let's see how deadly these guys are. Oh, alright. Yeah, as always, the ranger can just kill everything in one hit. No thank you. How did the I missed that? Kill him. Kill him. Are you go this way. No. Oh my god. Don't let him get caught in melee. Dude, get out of there. <laughs> the guy when he closed headed. <laughs> ah, whatever. The glass will finish the rest of this battle. Okay, so I'll give away one of my secrets in this battle, in case you haven't seen it yet. I've shown it in other videos, but the key is, if you put any type of ranged unit, it is that. Why have you... Do the Goliaths not do their stupid job? Um, are they killing them? Please kill them. Nice. Way deadly with the buffs. Any ranged unit will make the priority of Panthers and other attacking units like Infiltrators go for... I don't know, actually, I'm not going to say sure on the Infiltrators, but I know that Panthers will go for the ranged units. And if you give them a move command, damage will not register most of the time. So you've got somewhat immortal uh, kiting, right? So let's go show that here. Yeah, so here we, buttload, here we go. Buttload of Panthers. Watch this. We're going to throw in Let's go. Let's do that. Grenadiers and archers. Archers are easier to die. Right, here we go. What if you could solo this? We should try it. Oh, nice. Okay. So we'll just move them over here. And he'll, they'll pull uh, They'll pull all the ranged units that are going to spawn in the back over that way. And then Jaldar can just 
you know, one hit of them. Okay, kill him, please. There we go. Yeah, it's hard. He just doesn't, he can't take any damage. Like a classic ranger. Oh, you better move forward. It's gonna take a while. You better move forward too, because the poison class is coming. Where are the Panthers, man? There's one. Death from above. I don't think I caught by the Goliath. Normally they'll go all the way to the bag. Definitely easier wins than a Berserker. Simply because Rangers, as we know, are still kind of the go-to Titans. I think Loki was supposed to change that as far as being a deadly lightning infiltrator. But at the end of the day, he still has to get in in a melee fight. Nothing compares to the distance and deadliness of that Ranger Titan. He's almost a perfected glass cannon. All he needs is either a kite, like, a, like the ranged unit, or let's go find something else, or he just needs maybe some terror spells, and he's good to go. Oh, I think this is it. <laughs> this ought to be good. A level 40 Kolgar, <laughs> backed up by just a ton. Let's take some cannon fodder, some spearmen. Uh, what did he have in there? He's got... Oh, wait. Just random troops, okay. Random spells, too. Alright, so we're going to take in... Let's just blow it up. Meteor Strike. I find it cinematic when just hail fire comes down on the entire map. I just wish it would create more fire that lasted throughout the battle, but I know that's a lot of... It's a lot to deal with. Alright, so we're going to move... Range units kind of down to the left, and then let's go auto here. Yes, that's a good idea. You should go this way. You should go this way, please. Here we go. And I'm gonna control this unit. <laughs> you like how he's gonna, he's going off by himself to kill this Titan. One hit. Level forty. Nothing. Of course. All right, here we go. So here's I'm gonna show you right now. So look at these Panthers. No damage to the unit. Right? All I have to do is tell them to move. Um, because I showed that, they may be changed in the near future. But in the meantime, it's badass. Dude, shoot the thing right in front of you. What's wrong with you, man? Thank you. Oh, I forgot about that hell for you. Oh, now the, the double-edged sword of that is if you stop moving your archers, they will die immediately. So beware. The deadly panthers are still deadly. What is happening over here? How are Panthers losing to Militia? <laughs> That's bizarre. That's what happens when you're not involved in the Panthers, right? Well, there you guys go. The lesser reward from the event, in my mind, is the greater reward overall because I just can't have too many, too many Rangers. They're fantastic. Unfortunately, on defense, they're kind of pathetic because um, they do not shoot. They're, their priority is nonsense and they get frozen and they're done. So I get that call. But on attack, so far, they just tend to be the best, easiest Titan to use. Just go out there and let them shoot. Lego Jaldarg, the four-star Titan, with an awesome beard to say the least. Um, in fact, I think he's the closest thing we have to a hipster Titan. But he's going old school weightlifting hipster, which is a thing. So he still counts. <laughs> but definitely a Titan worth keeping and using very well. Maybe even throwing on your garrison, you never know. If you get him maxed out, I don't think he's going to make it immortal. Uh, a live set, unless you got really, really lucky on your skill set. I don't like resist against Titans just because... Um, oh, sorry, damage against Titans. Because these days, the true buff is what really matters. But it's not a bad set of skills. Um, I just probably will not focus too hard on getting him to level 60 until I get Basathi up there. Basathi up to level 60. And of course, um, we got... You know, the gods, I gotta go level up Thor, I gotta go level up Loki. So, I got a lot to do before I, I level up Jaldar. But in the meantime, thanks for tuning in, guys. Let me know what you think of this Titan. Did you play the last event? Did you get to the finish of the last event? And what are your thoughts on these two Goliath Buffer Titans? Alright, guys, I'll see you next time on Dynamite.
with DDR, Kai Edition, Kathy Edition.